welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the Colourpop gel liner and eyeliner like review and mini swatch. I won't be j swatching the gel liners but I will tell you how they work. Um, I'm going to be swatching the pencil liners and like tell you the pros and cons of each one. Just know they use Goo Beach. They use so good. I read a lot of negative reviews towards the pots. A lot of people hated them. They were too dry. But I wanted to try them out for myself instead of being like, oh, I'm going to believe what everybody says. Because you guys know I love Colourpop and a lot of people hated their liquid lipsticks, but I completely love them. I wanted to try them out for myself. Be like, is they good? Is they not good? What is the problem here? So I will be swatching all the liquid, not the liquid ones. They're not liquid. They're pencil and then they have pots. So... I was able to get all 24 liners. I wasn't able to get all 24 gel pot liners. I think I got 23 out of the 24. By the time I got online, there was already one that was sold out. So that kind of pissed me off because you guys know I like to get the whole collection just so I can review the whole thing. But I will be going back online and purchasing it when it comes um, out because just an FYI, I fucking love these sh this shirt. Okay. For the price, uh, the these are $5 and these are $6. I mean, you probably get more product in here. That's why it's more expensive. It's just a dollar more. Um, and these are $5, which is great because the one I love from, what is it, NYX, it's $10. And girl, it's too much, girl. So I like it because they have a variety of colors. They have so many colors you guys can choose from. They have black and brown, which are the normal colors, and they have a lot of fun colors. The one I'm wearing right now, I'll get a little closer for you guys. I know purple again, but I had already filmed this video, but the footage looked kind of bad. So I'm wearing Piggy Bank right now as a gel liner. And I am completely obsessed with it. Oh my god, my butt is so sweaty, girl. So let's start off by swatching the colors, and I'll tell you the names of the colors. Again, I'm not swatching the pots, just because some of them I kind of close too tight and I can't open them. But the formula, I will tell you which ones I've tried already. And how the formula is, look who's back there, bay, bay one and two, bay one and two. So right off the bat, the metallic ones are way creamier in the gel pots than the matte ones. The only problem I had with the matte ones was that you have to warm it up uh, in order for it to be really, really easy to apply. So let's start swatching. The first one I'm going to swatch is the one that matches the gel liner I'm wearing right now. It's called Piggy Bank. And these are extremely creamy. In the video I already had filmed before this one, two of them, three of them like cracked off because they were like super soft. So you guys have to be very careful. This A piece just broke off, so I'm going to break it. You have to be very gentle with these. A gentle as fuck. So see, another one just broke. That's the fifth one that breaks from these. Like, oh, you guys have to not. It's kind of getting me very frustrated. And I'm not even being like super. <laughs> These are super soft, so be careful. Like, that's the fifth one that broke. See guys, they're breaking the, like the tip is breaking off, and it's like really frustrating me not to scream right now because that's like the fifth, sixth, seventh one that's broken off. You hear them? 
No respect. No respect at all. They won't shut the fuck up for the life of them. So this is what the pot looks like and they're a little bit smaller than what I expected them to be. I thought they would be a little bit bigger like the Maybelline, uh, you know the Maybelline ones? See even the Maybelline like loose glitter is a little bit bigger than that. So I expected it to be a little bit bigger. So going into them, buying them, I had like really negative thoughts because everyone was like they're so dry, they're not good, they're blah blah blah. Oh you guys like my fake nail I put on? Shakshi, but anyways, you hear that? You hear that freaking voice I have to deal with every day? Like, so going into it, I had really negative reviews like, not reviews, but like thoughts. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna get them, I'm probably gonna hate them, I'm just gonna live in a drawer. But ever since I got these, I got them on Friday, I got them on Friday, today's Tuesday. I've been wearing them every single day trying to see the longevity of it. I was going to post it that same day, but I was like, let me give these a try because it wouldn't be a fair review to you guys or to me if I just wore them one day and was like, they're good. But I wanted to give them a real review. Like, I wanted to wear them and see the longevity, see if they crease, see if they crack, see if they wore long. You know, all that stuff that you guys want to know about gel liners because I have a really bad, bad waterline. Like, anything makes my eyes cry. And usually by the end of the day, they're like, there's like a lot of black under my eye. Even my coworker's like, why do you have black all under? I'm like, because my liner does never stays on me. Like, it just never stays on me. I'm like, what the hell? You speed still? You supposed to stay okay? But these did not budge. I wore three in one day. I wore three on Saturday, which is like my shorter day. And I wore two yesterday. Um, not yesterday. I wore two on Sunday, which is like my longer day. They lasted so freaking well. I was so impressed because one, like my liner never stays and two, they lasted so long and the pigmentation stayed through my whole shift at work. There is one negative to the pots and it's that you have to work really, really quickly. I'm not that great at gel liner, but this one, like I worked really quickly with it and I got a kind of a good wing. So it was really easy to work with. The other one I was experimenting with was Prance, which is Prance, I had a little bit more of a difficult time using um, just because it was the first one I was using and that one I used in the other video. Um, it took me a little bit longer to find the perfect brush to use. I did mix it up a little bit just because I think people were just testing the top layer and you have to kind of dig in there to get the good product and make it a little bit easier to, to work with, you know? You know? Either way, I'm going to go by the Duraline from Ingla just to make it a little bit easier to work with. I don't want to have like like you know jaggedy lines from my gel liner i want to have like a crisp ass line you know be like look at bitch look at my line that's so good but yeah like i oh, i love the colors the colors are what got me i was so excited when they came out so the one positive is that the colors like they stay on forever like when you put the gel liner on it will stay on forever i been wearing this for like maybe several like six out no five hours and it has not like cracked it has not done anything it has stayed in place and it was super easy to put on you hear those fucking oh my god i want to strangle someone and i know you guys are gonna ask what brush i use with this i use the sedona lace eb19 and it's an angled like eyeliner brush super easy to work with i never thought i would be able to do gel liner but this one i just tucked my eye a little bit does the work for you I did squeeze it a little bit because the hair is kind of like straight, but it just does the work for you. And then I just cleaned it up with the makeup wipe and then I did the rest of my makeup and it was perfectly fine. I give these a, f I give the gel liners like a four out of five just because they are a little bit harder to work with and you have to work really fast with them. The metallic ones though, those go on like a dream. Those are freaking phenomenal. So if you guys like are hesitant to buy them the metallic ones are super super good and they stay so long like super long I did not see this in anybody's video where like they were swatching them and, like they would crack off the first time I filmed this video three of them cracked and then this one several of them cracked so I think you guys should not like go like this and then swatch just leave whatever is on the top like that much 
and then just work with it because they are super creamy so it's not gonna tug on your eye it's not gonna drag it will go on smoothly and super pigmented with like a simple touch do not roll them up a lot because they will crack off um, I love the packaging of this because it has the color here and it has a color here so you will be able to find the color that you want these stay super vibrant on your eyes and they last so long the vibrancy does not fade throughout the day it stays consistent through the whole like time you're wearing it it doesn't fade and it stays so long on the waterline I have such a big problem finding a good pencil for my waterline again anything causes them to cry me like going like that with a blending brush under my eyes makes them cry so much applying lashes makes them cry putting eyeliner in my waterline makes them cry a slight bit of wind makes them cry like anything makes my eyes cry and that's why they're always red I, I, I don't want to put eye drops because my friends said they were really bad for the eyes so I never put any type of eye drops in my eyes just because they're <laughs> I don't want them to go blind and they're always red for some reason so if you guys think I'm high or drunk all the time it's just because my eyes are naturally really sensitive and they're always red so these oh my god I have such a love for them but I just hate the fact that they crack off which I mean I'm not that mad because they're only five dollars but then again I have to wait for them to ship and you guys know the whole business with the shipping thing to my house I just hate the freaking mailing people and I'm too lazy to go get a PO box because then that means I have to go somewhere and I just rather have them downstairs you know I give these a 4.5 out of 5 just because of, they do crack off easily. Well, that crack off on your face, you know, not on the face. But like in, <laughs> in the pencil, they crack off. So you have to be super careful with these. They're super buttery, super creamy. And I, I think if you're too scared of the gel liners, just go for these because these are super easy, super user friendly. So I give these a 4.5 out of 5, okay? <sighs> You guys know I'm straight up honest like I love the gel liners and I love the colors that they have I wish they would have had a nude or like a light pink or like a mauvey pink that would have been so freaking awesome but just I hate that they cracked off nobody in their video said that I don't think people gave them a fair shot at what they could do because they only took the top layer of the gel liner and they like were like oh, this crap it sucks it's too dry it's too hard to work with I gave it a try and I dug in there and like I freaking love the gel liners too. I love both of them so I recommend them both to you guys. You guys would know I would not lie. If they suck, I would have told you like straight up they suck, don't use them, like whatever. But for me to have something that's not going to irritate my eye or make it water, that was like a big thing for me because my eyes water so much and like my gel liner or eyeliner never stays on me. So for them to stay on my actual eyeballs, I am so impressed with them and they're only five dollars and six dollars for you know a dollar more for the pot so if you guys want me to do a look using the gel liners let me know in the comments below and I will again I'm gonna be purchasing the Inglat Duraline to see if that actually like helps them so I will let you guys know like for those have, that have a hard time like make, doing gel liner and these are gonna be way too dry for you I will go purchase it <laughs> spend my money I, I don't know I don't really mind spending money on makeup you know you yeah, help me I'm a, I'm a my cuckoo so I will go buy it and then put like a test it out for you guys and see if it, that makes it easier and I will let you guys know as well so if you guys want to look with the liners let me know in the comments below let me know what colors you guys are most exciting about <laughs> excited about let me know what colors you guys picked up and what you guys think about them so yeah let's just like keep communicating up in here okay up in here. I hope you guys liked it give it a thumbs up subscribe and I will see you guys very very soon adios amigos